So there's a kind of a connection with academia, right? In this and but in the space that you're looking at, in the stages that you're looking at, um, what prompted you to focus specifically on that? Uh, both, uh, you know, as a fan, but also you, as as Alex, like, what is it that attracts you to that space? So um, I think it, it was, you know, looking back, it's really a natural evolution. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineer my, myself. I studied here in Athens, then uh, moved to London, did my master's there, then moved to Geneva, started working at CERN, designing particle accelerators. So really deep in the research side. Yeah. Deep academia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really deep, which at, at some point I got a bit, um, well, I would say fed up with the pace of development in the research world, which is great for what it is, but you know, it didn't cut it for me. So I said, how can we accelerate things? And I said, let's join a startup because that's the fastest you can go, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I joined the startup uh, in medical devices in Switzerland. And really I saw this kind of transition from uh, academia to, uh, to business, let's say. And this was really, really interesting for me. How do you take fundamental research, make it into technology, make it into product, make it into a successful business, right? So I was really fascinated by this uh, trajectory. And this led me to a to a job at uh, an asset management firm in Zurich, with where we I was there to kind of be the middle person between the super banker type of investor, very you know late stage uh, listed companies kind of kind of thing, and technical founders, which is completely different, yeah. like two completely different worlds, right? And I really enjoyed this being somehow in the middle, which led me to yeah become a VC investor. And uh, in especially in this in this space, because I really wanted this uh, uh, this transition. That's the personal side. And then on the more business side, uh, I think that we are having real problems in in our world, right? Which I think you need real technology to solve. Mm. Uh, I think we went a bit past this era of um, uh, you know marketplaces and easy, easy, easy to. I mean. I don't want to to make it sound too easy, but this uh, kind of uh, three founders in a garage building a building a product yeah. overnight, or like quick fix, maybe, yeah. Yeah, 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 which was essential and created some great great stories, and will continue to create great stories. But I think that when you apply real technology, you have the potential to solve real problems, and hopefully make some money in the way. 